Okay, so first we are going to create a VM. So here on our ESXi interface, we'll right click on the server that you want to create a VM on, and then you do new virtual machine. Okay, so we're going to select custom next, and we have to give it a name, and we say that we're going to be building lm ice 2 so that would be our name, lm ice 2 Next, we're going to have to select a data store. So I'm going to choose the local data store at this point. And we can do virtual machine version 8 or 7. Although the guide might have told you to do 7, but 8 is also okay. So do next. Here, this is where you have to select a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 with the 64-bit because IS 1.2 now runs 64-bit operating system. Then we'll click next. For the number of CPU, and from our guide, it said we need a single quad core. So we do a single virtual socket with full core. Next, for the memory requirement, our 3315 require 4 gig of RAM. And for the network interface, it said although the VM requires a minimum of one, it, uh, it's two or more is recommended. And this is if you do things like the span-based probe that you would need more than one network interface. So maybe we'll just do two for now. And we want to map it to the correct VLAN, which is our VLAN 32. The other one, we're just uh, gonna throw in some VLANs, which we call Wireshark. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna use that at this point. So adapter, make sure it's E1000 on both, because if you choose a different one, the VM might not come up. For the SCSI controller, we'll leave at default at LSI, logic parallel. Now for the new virtual disk, although 3315 has 500 gig of hard drive install. But for our labbing purposes, we're just going to do, say, 200. And that's, I believe, is a minimum requirement. So let me bring it up again. So you can see here, disk space is 500 gig, but the minimum is 200. Okay. And in production, you're always going to choose thick provisioning. But for our lab purposes, I want to consume too much disk space that we have here. We're going to do thin provision. But again, let me reiterate, make sure you select thick provision for your production deployment. Okay, so next, we'll leave it default. And we want to edit the VM before we finish. So continue. Right, we can remove floppy safely because it's no longer needed. For our DVD, what we're doing here is we have already uploaded the 1.2 ISO to the data store. So we can select the ISO right here, IS 1.2. But if you decide to write the ISO into your DVD, that would be fine as well. So you, at this point, you should have the DVD inserted into your server already. And we want to connect that power on. Okay, finish. We'll wait for the VM to be built. And then we'll open up console. And we'll turn on the VM. Okay, so the first thing that we see is to select the input option. We're going to do Cisco IS installation keyboard and monitor. So that would be option number one. You can see right here, just real quick, I guess I'm not sure if you caught that or not. Option three and four, if you happens to lose the admin password, and this is one going to your command line, then you can do the password recovery as well. Okay, so this is where the process going through and validate your hardware specification. So you can see right here, it might scroll up pretty quickly right here. Virtual machine hard drive, physical RAM, number of network interfaces two. So if you define something is not compatible as part of your VM build, it's gonna error it out right here and then it's gonna halt the installation. But since we picked all the components correctly, the installation has already proceeded. And while we're waiting for that, I just wanna bring up one thing. So if you have the multiple NIC defined and plan to use the span base probed for profiling, then what you also need to do is to make sure that you enable promiscuous on the switch. So here under configuration networking, and then you have to look at the V switch that those NIC is going to be connected to. Under property, we're just going to pick the switch for now with the V switch and edit. And under security right here, promiscuous mode, you need to have that change to accept because by default it's reject. Okay, so I just wanna bring that up. And now we're just gonna to have to wait for the installation process to complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll return when it's asking us to go through the setup wizard. Okay, so now we prompted to go through the setup wizards. We can type in setup 
and now it's going to take you through entering a few parameters. Now first with the host name, you see it's going to be alim ice 2 Okay, for IP address, it's 172.16.32.103. Slapnet mass is 255.255.255.0. 255 Default gateway is 32.1. DNS domain is labminutes.com. Primary DNS is 16.32.40, which is our Windows 2008. We do not want the secondary name server. For the NTP, it's our switch, which is also our default gateway, 32.1. No secondary or another NTP. Now for time zone, for us it's US Pacific and we would like to enable SSS service as well. Okay, for a username, we're going to use the default admin and then we need to type in the password, make sure it meets the complexity, confirm the password, and now it's going to bring up the network interface and this is where you have to make sure that the default gateway is pingable because it's going to do connectivity check and ping the default gateway if it's not reachable it's not going to go through the installation process okay so it's trying to ping the default gateway it's also trying to ping the primary name server so that has to be reachable as well and now it's going to go ahead and install the vmware tools and now we're just going to let it run it depends on how fast your server is it might take between 30 minutes up to an hour so we're going to pause the video one more time. The next time we come back, the installation should be completed. This looks like our installation is completed, so let's try to log into the console. Here with admin and then the password that you choose during the setup wizard. Okay, and right there we get dropped into the command lines, and you can do show run. Okay, you can even do show NTP and make sure the time is synchronized. Let's try show run one more time. And you can see right here, we have two gigabit ethernet interfaces, just like how we created those in the VMs. Name server, default gateway, domain name. All right, let's now try to lock into the web interface. So let me bring up our RDP session. And then accessing 162.16.32.103. Just have to accept the certificate. Since by default they're a self signed certificate, and here we go ahead and lock in. And now we get dropped into ICE 1.2 dashboard. And since we haven't really installed the license, it came up with the eval copy warning. And you can even run or go through setup assistance right now if you want or not want to configure things manually. But for us, we're just going to say no to that. And now you can pretty much move on with your configuration from here. If this is the first ICE node you just built, then at this point you can move on and continue installing the rest of your nodes to meet your design. And once you have them all built, you can register them to your primary node to build a distributed deployment, which we will look at in a later video using wildcard certificate, which is something new that's supported now with the ICE 1.2. Okay, so that's pretty much wraps up our video on ICE 1.2 VMware sizing and installation. You can visit our website to view an extensive list of our lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labmiss.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.